Hello everyone, it's Doom here once again playing uh, Dark Souls. Forgot the name of the game again. Today we will be finishing up the rest of Animal Mondo before moving on to our destination. Of course, remember to break the legs. Now on a first order of business and that I'm not sure if these items disappear if you go to Spooky Londo. So we'll be doing them first. Even if it will involve a bit of backtracking. Die. And die. Now we run! On a bit of a side story, uh, earlier this week, um, while I was playing with uh, Dark, actually, I was able to find a Vagrant over here, which are a very rare enemy that only spawns uh, in place of bloodstains when certain players online lose a crap ton of souls. I believe you have like a 1% of meeting them per playthrough, or at least around that amount. You know, if you're over here, you get a Dragon Slayer Great Bow and a single, yes, a single arrow. We need to make sure that arrow counts. Anyway, let's just kill these demon uh, gargoyles or whatever they're called. Here we meet the giant blacksmith again. Or maybe this is the first time. Who are you? First time. Forge your weapons. Um, he's the only blacksmith that can make things out of boss souls, and he also gets you the ability to make lightning weapons, which don't scale with anything. So, it's not as good if you're, like, directly going for something. Uh, also, if you don't want to have a divine great axe or whatever, but you still need to want a divine weapon for the catacombs, uh, making a divine, uh, going here and turning the occult club into a divine club plus five is not a bad idea. He also sells these, 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 and these. That's not really much else I have to say. However, we do need to kill these gargoyles now in order to get that Titanite chunk. Which I believe will be wanted for great. I hate these guys so much. I think that's working as a pretty good strategy. Dynamic chunk get. So I'm not sure if these items will, uh, that item will stay or go away if you decide to um, uh, go to Spooky Lawn, which is what we're gonna do. It requires us to go to the chamber of the princess, so theoretically, it'd be faster to use a homeward bone if we have any. We do. go to Spooky Londo, you need to grab a bow, or I suppose anything that has decent vertical range. I think you can use some weapons for this as well. But I'm going to use a that Dragon Slayer bow. Or not. And now we need to shoot Guinevere. That'll start a cutscene. Thou that tarnishest the Godmother's image, I am Gwyndolin. And thy transgression shall not go unpunished. Thou shalt perish in the twilight of Anor Londo. Oh no, it seemed like the sunlight was an illusion! And so is going to be here. And stuff. Anyways. Now that we have activated Spooky Londo, we can get the red the rest of the things. Do gotta wait for the elevator. Prayer to the slaughter of the gods. Wait, 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 wait! I'm not gonna last that long. 
Oh well. Alright, fine, we'll break our legs. I said we'll break our legs. <coughs> Since it is now spooky Londo, the ghosts should be gone and in their place. I said in their place. Come on, where are they? They'll be these guys. And I think that was about a thousand tills. I don't know numbers. It's official. Why don't? I believe the silver knights will still spawn. So if you want to get the silver knights stuff, you can still grind them. Uh, what we need to do is go down to this elevator. And it looks like someone from the bonfire that we at the start is here and is hostile. So it was you. How dare you produce a blade upon a deity? How did you ever get this far? I shall oh no. end your suffering here and now. It is the least that I can do. Oh, oh I got it. I got it up though, but I got it. What you saw Ow. under light of the dark moon will haunt you forever. Well, I screwed that up pretty miserably. However, I didn't think I'd actually got to carry that. Oops. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> Mistakes were made, let's get back to it. No, oh, we're over here now. I don't know why, but hey, 10 Estes. Let's go kill her. Let's, let's try again. We failed the whole kill the enemy thing. Let's try it again. Future taunt. I don't know. All I know is that I made terrible mistakes. Alright, this time we'll do it successfully, hopefully. Just need to run over there. Just taking, just taking a while. Because our character at this point is fat. Which I think it's medium, but pretty fat. Yeah, let's try this again. Okay, no enchanted magic weapon. It's official, I can't parry. Just let me heal real quick, if you don't mind. There. How? This man is a threat. Nice. And with that, we get her Firekeeper Soul, which we'll want to upgrade our Estus Flask with. Uh, to go down, we want to push it over here, I believe. But in order to get to our destination, we need to go down all the way in this elevator. Whoa. If I fell through the floor, I would have been very angry. Now here, uh, in normal Anne Orlando, there's actually a statue here. However, since we're in Spooky 
window there is not. Uh, if you have the Dark Moon Seance Ring, I believe you'll be able to walk through the statue. However, we do not, and instead the statue just won't be there. Enter the fog wall and get ready for cutscene. Heretic. First thou offendest the Godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the Great Lord. I am the Dark Sun, Windelin. Let the atonement for thy felonies come innocent. If you say so. Yes, here's the fight against Windelin. Um, he likes teleporting. And he has three attacks. If he uses his wand and like waves it in a circle, he's gonna descend a blast that, that will go through walls. Or if he does it like that, he'll instead follow homing projectiles. If he just if he doesn't do either and instead raises up, that means he's gonna use his arrows. The homing bullets can be easily blocked by projectiles, you need to roll through the big ball, while you can easily avoid the arrows by missing entirely. So that's very important. This hallway is not infinite, it's just very long. Close enough. You can actually uh, sidestep the ball, however I found it much easier to just roll through it. And we still got him. Again. Damn it. Alright, he's doing the arrows, that's easy. And he's doing the arrows again. Hooray. Go away, Skype. I will answer to you later. Come on, I'm pressing the roll button. <sighs> okay, he's continuing using the arrows. I'm gonna fuck it up this time. There. Come on, I'm pressing the heal button. Go away, Sky. a very short part in the end. Get arrows, good. Nope, it's done. There we go. Oh, heretic, swathed in dark, an eternal curse upon thee. It's not infinite, despite what it seems like, it's just very long. As you can see here, there is an empty chest. As you can see over here, we have the Miracle Sunlight Blade. Over here, we have the brass leggings that uh, the Firekeeper Lady had. And I think with that, we should have a nice day for Doom is signing out. Goodbye.